I am about to show you something that may save your day someday, maybe today. So what I'm going to teach you today is something that was it's very useful for photographers, videographers, or anybody else that is using Linux, especially Linux. Today it's Linux, of course. But I'm going to show you something that works with cameras, hard drives, storage drives, network drives. So I'm going to show you how can you recover files that you accidentally deleted. This should work in most situations. I will discuss that a little bit further down the line, but I'm going to show how can you recover files that you have deleted accidentally. I'm going to show you um, on or using a camera just because it's it's a, a very good practical example for this, but this can work with any hard drive, any storage drive, SSD, NVMe, network drive. This technique works with any situation. I'm going to show you with, with the cameras and deleted photos because it's a very common use case, but this can work in any situation. This may save, save your ass maybe today, so stay tuned for that. So first of all, let me get some, some, some examples, something that can represent the situation. So I'm going to take a picture of you guys here. Of Here we go. So I'm going to show that the picture is here. And I'm going to show you on the desktop too. So this is this, this is you guys. I'm going to use one photo because this process can take a while. So you don't have to wait so much. But this works uh, if you have one file, two files, 1,000 files, small files, big files, video files, image files, any situation. So if you delete a file accidentally, this is going. This is something that going to is, is going to help you recover those files. Okay. So I'm going to put the, the card in a pretty generic. Uh, card reader nothing special i'm going to use again i'm going to use the photo example but this works in any 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 situation okay so let me just uh swap to my to, to, to my victim here i'm going to insert the pen and i'm going to uh, allow the pc to to read nothing really special this will work in any situation i'm okay i'm going to tell you this again this will work in any situation. It doesn't matter the files, how big they are, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So now I'm gonna. I could I could browse using the, using this. I'm going to cancel. This is just what you should what you normally do when you browse your photos. I'm going to open my USB stick, and hopefully I can actually see the photo I just took. Just a simple JPEG, and there you go. These are you guys, and uh, on my studio here. Okay, you are looking pretty sharp today. So there we go. Uh, nothing uh, amazing. So I'm going to accidentally delete the file. Again, I'm going to shift delete it. This is this this did not went to the trash. Trash is empty, and the USB stick it's has it's just looking as normal, but without the picture I just deleted. Okay, so this this works. This procedure works in any situation. Uh, hard drives, SSDs, pen drives, um, memory cards with photos, whatever. If you accidentally delete files, this should work for the most part. Now, I did it a file. Now, one thing I, I do recommend you guys to do is, if you if you if you have that awareness, uh, stop using the machine. Okay. So stop using not the machine. Stop using this storage device. Try to get it offline, or don't put anything there. Don't copy files there. Don't don't proceed. Don't do any actions there until you, you try the recovery procedure. Okay? Because if you try to use the drive in any way or form, uh, you will most likely um, reduce the chances of success. So stop using it and and do this. Next, you're going to run a program called photo rack okay so photo rack it's part of a package of a bigger package package that it's called i forget the full name i had it here in front of me uh so jesus how can, how can i forget this so the main package is called test disk okay so you just have to do dnf not dnf this is a this is a not a, a fedora machine this is a an a, a mint machine so you, you will use apt okay so so you do sudo apt install test disk or something along around those lines. It's already installed, so I'm just going to. This is not going to do nothing because it's already installed. But if you are using Fedora, for example, you do dnf install test disk. You, you get the idea. 
And part of this package, you have a program called PhotoRack, okay? So PhotoRack, it's the, the software we're going to use. Test this, I'm going to use it on a separate video. Test this, it's similar, but it's for recovering uh, partitions and drives and the partitions themselves, not the, not the files. So I'm going to use PhotoRack. I'm going to use root in theory, or not in theory, you can you, know, you don't have to use root for this, but you increase your chances of success if you do, okay? So now you're going to add, tap the password for the suit, of course, and this is going to show me the, my storage devices, okay? Let me put this uh, a little bit bigger for you guys can see. There we go. Cool. Now you have now you have the um, you have the um, well the storage devices here listed. I'm going to use STB. So STB, it's my 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 the USB drive that has my my photos that I have deleted. I'm going to select it, make sure it said selected. I'm going to hit enter. If you see here in the bottom, it says proceed. So I'm going to proceed. Um, it's selling me which partition. Um, I'm going to use up the whole the, the USB stick. It's fine. So I have two thingy I'm going to I'm going to select the USB stick. If everything fails, I can try the other one. It's just a matter of experimentation. But I'm going to use the one that's pre-selected, which is the one that looks healthy. It's going to it's going to ask you what how did you format this if you don't know what this is the the, the one he's highlighting just use that or just try one or the other but this one it's a fat uh sd um a, a sd card he already highlighted that one he knows what's within it so i'm going to accept his suggestion if it fails try the other one this is not destructive for the most part so you should you should be fine for the most part again he pre-selected free use the free option if fails if it fails try the whole option it's fine i'm going to use the free now he's going to tell me where do you want where do you want to put the files that he recovers i'm going to I, as you can see here i'm using desktop as i'm going to put this on the desktop i'm going to select the dot and press c accept my selection you can put it anywhere else so hit c and now he's recovering as you can see he's already re recovered something it's created this direct this folder here. I'm going to open the folder. And I have here lots of tests. And there I have it. This is the, the image I just deleted by accident and it's recovered. Okay. So it really worked. And it's done. It's already there. I'm not going to let it I will I mean he he's still recovering, doing stuff. I have some MOV files I have deleted, but intentionally. So I'm going to stop this because it's going to take a while. And I'm going to quit the recovery and I'm going to quit here. As you can see, the files were recovered. He recovered the one I just deleted and recovered ones I deleted previously. I wanted to keep these the older ones too because even if you format the drive, most likely you will be able to be successful. Okay, let, let me show you. So if I copy the file or if I can cut it, I can cut, that's, that's copy. I don't have the rights to delete, so I'll just copy it. And I can just put it back to my USB stick, copy paste. So it's back. It has a different name, but oh well, who cares? And now I'm going to close this off and I'm going to format my disk. Okay, so format, USB stick, it's fine, it's looking fine. FAT32 is also fine. Format, type in the root password to do this. While he does this, I'm going to delete file the the the, the right it, it created. So rm or rf photo rack dot s. For, let's call delete all of this and the recoup directory. I need to be root to do that, which is fine. Cool. And now, as you can see, the pen has been formatted successfully and was ejected. I'm going to reinsert the pen. Okay, because it, it got ejected, so I need, I need to reinsert it. As you can see, the pen is back, and it should be clean. Okay, so... It's there, first quality displays. Uh, it's, let, let me reinsert the pen, something went wrong here. Let's eject it and put it back
The full account cannot be displayed. Well, this is weird. Let's try to format again. Format it again. So format. USB stick. Let's say. Yeah, it's fine like that. Let's format it. Once more. While he formats, let me just sip my coffee. <sighs> Very nice. It's a nice coffee in the morning. Sick was formatted successfully. We close this off. And now we pull it. Put it back in. So the draft is formatted and it's empty. Okay. It it's it shows nothing. It was it was just formatted. So let's uh, run PhotoRack. Let's just close this off. We will run PhotoRack again. Uh, go back to my USB thingy, Majiggy. Basically the same thing. USB stick, other, free, desktop. And it's doing its thing. And as you can see, um, it's it's back here. So even though it was formatted, and I, I, I had to make a jump cut here because I had some issues with my USB port. This is just that this PC being this PC. It's never mind. I formatted the card. I even had to format it. Um, I formatted it by accident in multiple times on the PC, and I have also formatted the card in 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 the camera. Uh, and because my USB my USB ports are just no, never mind. And I got it back. So I have formatted it multiple times using in PC in camera. And I can still recover my files, and they are there. And uh, look at that. And um, it's it's I can successfully recover my files after after I have deleted them. So this process it's not kind of uh, fail proof. This might not be so successful for every single time for all of you guys. You may have to troubleshoot some stuff. This is not 100% success rate, but it's very very likely you can recover your files either being on a sd card on usb stick an sd card an sd card reader the uh, physical drives ssds hard drives network drives even you format the drive of course there are many ways to format the disk okay there are many ways to format the drive there are many ways to format drives of course your mileage may vary depending if you are making a normal format a deep level format a, a, a wipe format there are many ways to to format a, an SD card or, or any other disk, but if you are formatting in, in camera, you just go to the camera and select format card, and you just say, "Oh shit, try this," and your success. You may you you very you are uh, in good standings to recover the files you just deleted and get all your information back if you delete or if you format. Okay. I hope you found this useful. I hope I have some saved somebody's ass <laughs> because they have deleted the, someone's wedding photos using Linux. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe and comment. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.